My name is Steve Finch and I'm proud to be an American. But I'm pissed as hell and I'm not going to take it anymore. Today I'm fighting back. Today I'm starting a political revolution and I'm using the internet as my weapon. I grew up in an America where people were proud to be an American. We didn't apologize for it. We said the Pledge of Allegiance to our flag. We sang the Star Spangled Banner. Memorial Day was more than a day off. We weren't afraid to call ourselves Christians. There was no political correctness, there was only truth. And English was our national language. I grew up in an America that was the richest, strongest, and smartest country in the world. I grew up in an America when we had real leaders with real vision. Leaders that didn't have to look at the latest polls to know what's right. Leaders that faced our country's problems and were committed to lead our country to a new frontier, no matter how difficult the task. Where is our leadership? It's not hard for real Americans to figure out what's right. So why is it hard, so hard for our leadership? Our country faces many pressing issues, but none is more important than securing our borders. Illegal aliens are draining billions of dollars each year out of our social services. Our borders are non-existent and our leadership is doing nothing about it. The problem is only getting worse and the costs are escalating day by day. We need to start by securing the borders. Our founding fathers understood that we need to control the growth of our country so that the citizens could assimilate into the population without changing the core values of our country. We can only absorb a limited amount of new citizens and they must be made up of a variety and mix of ethnic backgrounds. If we let too many people into our country, especially if we're all from the same area of the world, it'll change our culture and the principle our country was founded on. And it's happening right now. Clearly we have a problem in this area. Our borders are non-existent in many places. Our politicians have done nothing, even though we as Americans understand the cost to us as taxpayers, as well as our basic American principles. We spend billions of dollars nationally to feed, house, give medical care, and even give welfare to people who aren't in our country legally. There's not a single real American that believes that's a good idea. Our politicians tell us that it's a complicated problem and that's going to take time to handle. Bullshit. The answer is simple. Invest money in a fence all along the border and then patrol it to be sure that it's not breached or crossed. Then crack down on the employers using illegal aliens. Give our law enforcement agencies nationwide the power to hunt down and remove all illegal aliens. It will save our country billions of dollars a year that we as Americans are paying for, as well as make our country more secure against terrorists. I'm Steve Finch. I'm proud to be an American, and I have a vision. Imagine a country that's energy independent so we're no longer spending trillions of dollars and losing thousands of lives on war. Imagine a country that only spends its tax dollars on U.S. citizens. Imagine a country dominating the world with alternative energy technologies creating more high-paying jobs than we can fill. Imagine our country sharing and caring for our citizens by giving them real health care insurance and coverage. Imagine thinking of our country first and then the world. Imagine a strong unified America rising to the challenges and showing the world our real strength, our real spirit, and our real patriotism. Join me in my efforts to make fundamental changes in our system. Pass the word along. Tell everyone you see that you're pissed as hell and you're not going to take it anymore. Let's make a difference. Peace out. Got my toes in the water, ass in the sand Not a worry in the world, a cold beer in my hand Life is good today, life is good today Well the plane touched down just about three o'clock And the city is still on my mind Bikinis and palm trees danced in my head I was still in the baggage line Concrete and cars are their own prison bars Like this life I'm living in 
But the plane brought me farther I'm surrounded by water And I'm not going back again I got my toes in the water Ass in the sand Not a worry in the world A cold beer in my hand Life is good today Life is good today Adios and vibes